Here we have a 2011 on an 11 registration Mercedes Benz Turismo P PSVR compliant 53 seat coach. Vehicle is the last vehicle in the Travel Right fleet, uh, Newark, Nottinghamshire. Funnily enough, my wife's hometown. This is where she was born and still has family. And sadly, but not for them, the Wright family decided now's a good time to retire. So it's, you know, it's a planned exit rather than a forced exit. And a lot of vehicles were sold at auction, but this one, people wanted to nick it, and it's not a nickable coach. So let's try and get them some proper money and send them off on an happy retirement. Finishing this metallic... I won't quite say gold, I'll say more mustardy colour. But... A nice colour, especially when you see the other side with the, well, lots of suns on it. Body works in great order. It's got power operated centre continental door. One of my favourite things about her is what I'm going to show you. A lot of the more senior members don't like using centre steps. Think about a Plaxton. Very narrow, quite steep. Lovely wide steps on a Turismo, lots to grab hold of quite an easy or friendly entrance stroke exit. At the business end we've got a Euro 5 Blue Tech 5 Mercedes engine. That is driven through a ZF fully automatic gearbox. Reverse cameras also fitted. Do you know what? I wish every yard I came to view vehicles in was like this. Hard standing, sun's out, all the room in the world to do what I want would be great. So back down the near side, as I said, this colour really sort of shines in the sun. You know, and even if you sort of, you know, you've got a white base livery, I, I, I wouldn't change this. I think it works really well. You know, just need sort of the right colour decals to go with it. We've got loads of luggage space because we don't have a toilet intrusion. The only intrusion you've got is the centre steps. So, masses of luggage. The only thing that sort of takes any of that up is this recently fitted PLS uh, mega lift. The conversion to PSVR was carried out by Thornton Commercials up in the northeast, so we know that's going to be a, a pretty good job. LED destinations to front, side, and rear. And as we jump on board, 53 reclining seats. Very common theme in Turismos of a certain vintage, this McLaren sort of black, silver and red interior. We've got three point seat belts, leather headrest inserts, all the seats are in good order. There are no sort of rips, tears, signs, excessive signs of wear. You know, all the little seat grab handles, see this plasticky bit here? This breaks so easily. However, all present and correct, as are magazine nets. This is a vehicle that clearly hasn't been abused. One thing I do want to show you, we'll just drop in here, is this, the adjustable three-point belts, which is great if you're carrying little people like me. Just pull it out, and it drops down. So, like, if my Luke was on the coach, he wouldn't be getting strangled. You know, there's multiple positions, as you can see. You won't be getting strangled by the seatbelt. Carpet to the aisle. Fully air-conditioned, goes without saying. Uh, we don't have a toilet. This is just a standard people mover, which for a lot of people is what they want. You know, a lot of applications these days, you know, particularly in a city work where you don't need a toilet. We're still wired for DVD with uh, one fixed monitor at the front. Mileage is just touching 600,000 kilometres. So it's not bad, it's not low, it's not high. You know, it's average. Dash is all in good condition. Great dash layout on these Turismos from a driver's perspective. Fridge in the dash, standard fitting. Keep your butties fresh and courier seat. But 
in fairness, it is always sad to see, you know, you only have to look at the units here to see what sort of, of operation we're talking about. It's always sad to see a long established family operator disappear. It's always better when it's planned, but you know, this, I would imagine losing this company will be um, a sad day for the people of Newark. You know, probably not dissimilar to when uh, gas packed in back in the sort of late 80s, early 90s, they were sort of uh, part of the establishment in Newark. But, you know, you've got Paul Marshall and his family up the road at Sutton on Trent, they'll take the mantle over. You know, again, another nice, good family operation um, for this part of the world. So, if you want to come and look at this vehicle, it's located literally two minutes from the A1. And it is a 2011, on an 11, Mercedes-Benz Turismo, 53 seat, PSVAR compliant coach.